Nearly 30 years ago, the body of a young girl was found days after she disappeared. It had been determined that she was raped and beaten. And as West Chusanika Hope reports, the suspected killer has finally been identified, but they won't be brought to justice. Laura Ann Wizar was only 11 years old in 1983 when she was abducted, sexually assaulted, and murdered. When the killer took Laura Ann's life, the St. Lucie Sheriff's Office says they took evidence too. I had already looked at all of the crime scene photos. I had been through most of the case file, and what they're telling me does not match what I'm seeing. That's so cold that case detective time, Paul like, Taylor, who helps reopen Laura Ann's case. Taylor said he was able to reach out to the original witnesses who found the sixth grader. And I asked them, I said, you know, I said, it's been almost 40 years. Do you remember this case? And there was tears. They started crying and said, I see that little girl lying there every time I close my eyes. But the sheriff's office found one of their own deputies, James Howard Harrison, turned the witnesses away. Her body moved. After that initial point, when they found her and Jim Harrison showed up, he sent them from the scene and they were never contacted by law enforcement again. Harrison went on to work at 10 other Florida law enforcement agencies, according to St. Lucie investigators, and died in 2008. Detectives got a warrant to exhume Harrison's body from the Ocoee Cemetery for a DNA sample. It was too deteriorated. Investigators said the evidence still added up to Harrison being the most probable suspect. I am actually standing there in front of this victim's family and I'm telling them that one of our deputies is the one that did it. It's, it's rough. Anika Hope, West 2 News. Investigators say Harrison had a pattern of inappropriate behavior with young women. Detectives believe Harrison may be responsible for other sexual assault cases across the state and they ask anyone with information to come forward.